I mean, they wait in line for a Georgetown cupcake for an hour to get a cupcake. So I think they can probably wait in line to do something as consequential and critical and constitutionally significant as cast their ballot. To which countries was he referring? What's your ethnicity? Uh, why is that relevant? No, no, because I'm asking you a question. My ancestors are from Ireland and Italy. My, my own ethnicity is not relevant to the question I'm asking. No, no, it is, because you're asking about, he said originally. Suggesting sexual assault. And that's a very unfortunate phrase, and people really should stop using that. Why? Because, because I know him better, and I know better. But it's what he said. He did not say the word sexual. No. Assault. Of why the president asked the White House press secretary to come out in front of the podium for the first time and utter a falsehood. Why did he do that? It undermines the credibility of the entire White House press office no, it on doesn't. day don't one. Be so, don't be so overly dramatic about it, Chuck. What it, it, you're saying it's a falsehood, and they're giving Sean Spicer, our press secretary, gave alternative facts to that. President Obama had a six-month ban on the Iraqi refugee program after two Iraqis came here to this country, mm -hmm. were radicalized, and there were the master, masterminds behind the Bowling Green massacre. Well, most people don't know that because it didn't get covered. <laughs> so just so we're clear, everyone, four words. Conclusion, collusion, no. Illusion, delusion, yes. Uh, as time wore on, uh, obviously the situation had become unsustainable. Kelly, and that, Gen that, that, General Flint. That makes no sense. Last month, the Justice Department warned the White House that General Flynn had misled them. Your White House is saying that what he did was wrong, but previously, as a candidate, Donald Trump was saying it was the right thing. You're conflating two things that don't belong together. Thanks for the trip down memory lane. I was on your show often last fall saying we were going to win Michigan and how we were going to do it. So that was fun. But here's what happened today. Over television every day, George, it doesn't help the American people to uh, have a president covered in this light. I'm sorry, it's neither productive nor patriotic. Well, it talks, you know. oh, well, that's not altered. That's sped up. They do it all the time in sports to see if there's actually a first down or a touchdown. Uh, Why do you call yourself a breaking news reporter if you're not writing breaking news and you're not even being a reporter? Don't characterize the way I feel without ever having met me, talked to me, or called me. For, excuse me, don't interrupt me. Why didn't they do it while it was contained? Get ahead of it. It is being contained. And do you not think it's being contained in this I'm country? not a doctor and a lawyer. 30 go seconds. buy Ivanka's stuff is what I would tell you. I'm going I'm well, to hate there, shopping. I'm going to go get some on myself today. There, there, the Office of Special Counsel, which says... I don't really care. Listen. Official government business right. political blah, blah, blah. Listen. Candidates in the Alabama right. special election. Blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry, are you talking about something from a year and a half ago? Do you have do you have a relevant question for today?